and boy, did I piss off a bunch of people when I said that. And I don't think anybody who's looked at MCP between April and August has concluded they don't need to know MCP. The next step is what MCP is really going to be interacting with. So you can write an MCP tool that is native. I could rip REST out. I could have MCP be the hooks directly into the back end. Rather than REST being the API layer in the middle, I could use MCP. The interesting thing is, is that MCP doesn't work very well for human beings. So I believe, that, and I've been testing this over the last 10 weeks now, I've tried to find a pattern or a use case where I'm going to replace a REST API with MCP. And the only place that that works is the place where a human being doesn't need to interact. Otherwise, I'm using REST to MCP and REST to human being. And then it's MCP to agent. And I have tried to architect it in many different ways. And then there's a shim that runs at the bottom, which is agent to agent. So if you think of model context protocol as the horizontal layer, the ladder rung, and you think of agent to agent as the, the leg of the ladder, agent to agent is gonna connect many ladders together and model context protocol is gonna be an entry point for an agent at each step. You must know model context protocol, you must know model context protocol, you must know model context protocol.